Right, had a bit of a break this morning. Well, went shopping this morning and then uh, now we're working on the van. It's cooled down a bit. So, uh, <laughs> so Dad's working on the uh, overhead bunks. Uh, I've got the leisure battery in with the voltage sensitive relay uh, and got a few earths and stuff sorted out. So that's all in here. So the battery's in there with a VSR there with just a, an earthing buzz bar on top. Uh, so while Dad finishes that, I'm going to have a look at fitting this heat unit. Um, in my previous van, I used quite an expensive auto gas. Um, one by Propax called a HS 2800 uh, which worked really well but I came across this on Facebook uh, and it's like a Chinese manufactured diesel heater and it only costs about 179 pounds comes with everything uh, all the heater parts as you can see fuel tank, all the lines wiring diagram but uh, rather than fit this I did want to take a feed from Current fuel tanks, I've got to fill up two different tanks, but at the moment uh, I don't think I've got the correct tools to, to drop the tank down. Uh, so I have been looking to see if I can fit it under the bay here, um, but then that tank is just slightly too large. I may be able to pop the expansion tank out of the way and sit it just in front of the ECU and the back of the headlights here, but still it'll probably be a bit weird turning up to a fuel station and popping the bonnet in. Filling diesel up dark in the engine bay. I might get a few weird looks there. Uh, but yeah, the engine bay on this van is pretty tidy. <coughs> and hopefully today, if the if that gets that sorted, I can clad the roof. The sand deadening turned up as well. You look like you want to say something. Got a belt. Get it done. <laughs> <laughs> What about get it done? So yeah, maybe we'll get the sand editing and the wool insulation on the roof, which may make it a bit uh, cooler to work in tomorrow, because at the moment the roof just bakes in the sun and it makes it quite hot in here. So, on to trying to fit a heater. Okay, so uh, I've had a pretty busy day. I've had to see uh, a number of patients in my clinic today, and then I've been popping back out to finish this. So um, if I show you this now, this is the basic frame for all the cupboards. Um, I'm gonna, you could literally, you could hang an orangutan off of there. That's not gonna come off. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna infill these. So they'll have uh, infill liners so to demarcate each cupboard. And then just deciding whether we're gonna do individual doors or how we're going to do the dooring at the moment but uh, yeah pretty pleased with that that's gone on really well um, at the moment all is um, coming to terms where he's taken the fuel tank out because we're looking to uh, run a diesel feed for the heater that he's bought uh, this is the heater here and uh, yeah it's proving um, Slightly problematic at the moment. Uh, it was a good idea. We stopped work between uh, three and four o'clock because uh, it just it's just got too hot here. Um, we're uh, so we're cracking on in the evenings, uh, which is uh, I think we're making better progress for that. So anyway, I'm going to crack on with the cupboards, and I was cracking on with the diesel heater. Okay, right. Well, I look like a bit of a drowned rat after that. Dirty. Don't get any of this in flying hang gliders. Um, so, update on the van. Dad's uh, almost finished making the upper cupboard section, which is looking really good. Here, see, we just got to put the uh, fascia and bottom plates on it, and then do some cupboards. I spent the last four hours fitting this small piece of line. Uh, basically, I bought a diesel heater, and they supplied this tank which could have been fitted inside the cab 
uh, but I really didn't want any diesel fumes or anything like that being inside. If anybody who's done any work with diesel knows that they're just uh, the stench never goes away. So we've got that fitted to the original pick of the tank. Might include some of that footage in this video, I'm not sure. Uh, it will be in another video of her how to. Uh, so the plan for tomorrow. Uh, I got the Volt Sensitive Relay actually in and that's all working so we just started up to make sure that I didn't let any air into the fuel lines when doing that previous job uh, and the VSR kicks in which is good so tomorrow I'll get the heater in first thing Dad will work on finishing off the cupboards uh, and then we will uh, do the roof and the back doors um, the sand didn't turn up today which is good you see I've already put a little bit on the back doors there or it's probably too dark um, so we're going to finish that do the cladding, get the heater in, get the lights in, um, and we should be very close. Christina should arrive tomorrow, which is Thursday, and we have to leave for Macedonia on Tuesday. And I think we should be on schedule, but uh, never know. If we have another day like today where I do basically nothing and Dad does everything, it probably won't. Uh, standard? Standard, whatever. Dad's been executing my idea very well. Been a bit bugged off for that, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's going well. Bribe tools, smashing the job out once again. What's that, sorry? We'll catch up tomorrow. Put the kettle on, would you? Yeah. It's always really good for. <laughs> 